Okay, welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's Mike Newton down here at Penrith Golf Hub, and we're going to talk training aid today and club face control. So, typically, club face control is obviously very, very important. The face really influences obviously where the ball initially starts in relation to that target through its actual ball flight. So, getting a really good control of the club face is ultimately very important on hitting straight to golf shots. So, this particular training aid we're going to take a look at today is going to really focus us and get some awareness of where this club face is. So whether you open the club face through that backswing and downswing, or whether you close it, this aid can really, really help. So stay tuned. We're gonna talk a lot about it. We're gonna give you some ideas of what it can do, and maybe this could help your club face control and your golf swing. Okay, so I came across this particular training aid called the Hanger on Instagram and I got in touch, touch with the guys at Watson Golf over in the US and they kindly sent me one over to have a little look at and obviously to deliver this video. But typically through my coaching sessions, club face control is one of the bigger issues that a lot of golfers will have. Whether it's through a, a, obviously a regular grip position, create some twist and uh, some club face control or lack of control, should I say, through that backswing and downswing or whether it's through wrist angles, and probably more so through the wrist angles, because we always like to get that grip in more of a neutral position as best we can, so then it really becomes wrist angles through the backswing can obviously influence then when that face gets open or closed. So it's being aware of that, and a lot of golfers I find aren't aware of that, because when they get to the top of the swing, they're never gonna see where this club is, unless they start really filming themselves. They're never gonna see you know, the wrist angles as such as they play the golf. So this can really make you aware of what we're trying to do, how it can control your club face and ultimately help you get more consistently square a face back at impact position. So common fault I will see with a lot of golfers is as they take the club back, they roll it and they take the club on the inside, but also they roll it, don't they? So the face is very much opening. So with this particular aid, as I put it on the grip, you can see there's a little cl plastic club face there, which you would marry up to your club face. So that gives you face awareness without obviously having to look all the way down at the other end of the golf club. But as you're fitting it, you're gonna get that square to that club face. And then it just tightens up quite simply, a couple of little clasps, clasps here, and you just tighten them up. Very, very simple. It gets a very nice sort of secure, sort of fix on the golf club. So as you take your grip and the club, the club facing the square position, this hanger position here, this piece of plastic that goes sort of through your arms or between your forearms shouldn't touch either of the forearms at your address position. So it should go straight through uh, your forearms. Okay, so as I say, the biggest fault I find is as golfers will go, take the club back, they start to roll it. Now you can see it, maybe as I do that, you can see the hanger now is pressing against my right forearm. Okay, my, my trail sort of arm is pressing against it. Okay, so if I take the club back and hood it too much, it's really pressing into my lead forearm. You can see the club face is very, very close. Wrist is starting to get very, very sort of bowed position. So the idea of this, as we take the club back into this position, we're sort of trying to get that leading edge at sort of similar angle to your spine angle, which we'll call as a square position. So what sometimes golfers would look at and say, well, that's a little bit close at that position. It's probably a little bit more neutral, okay? Because we don't want to be opening it up too much because then you're going to have to do a lot of work on the way down, become very sort of handsy, and that's inconsistency basically, isn't it? And then when you work it up to the top of the backswing, we're just gonna, again, gonna try and keep that little contact of that hanger on that lead inside forearm, okay? So we're back to there, up to the top, and we're gonna get a little bit of contact. Now, you can see what happens to my wrist there, it's fairly flat, isn't it? And that helps then get that club face control. And it's the wrist positions that can really influence that club face. So if I was to cup that left wrist, you can see how the hanger now massively separates from the inside of my lead forearm, puts a cup in that wrist, but then obviously opens that club face. And then, again, this is a very typical position I'll see a lot of golfers get into, okay? And then from there, then this obviously start throwing it over the top to try and, try and work it and start that ball left because the face is open, the ball's gonna wanna start right. So then they start swinging left to try and influence the start direction of the golf ball, but then you've got path issues face open to path, we know what's going to happen, it's going to slice, isn't it? So, that position there, let's keep that contact on inside that lead forearm, up to the top, creates that flat wrist position, that might feel very different for you, but it'll also help you maybe just to do a little bit, is control that trail elbow. Sometimes when we cup, you see the trail elbow can start to fly away and the elbow separates, so we can keep that in there, keeps that trail elbow in a really nice sort of position and then from there it actually helps you to sort of shallow the club a little bit on the way down you're keeping this contact in and against this inside forearm it helps you to shallow if we get it going that way you can see the club head 
throws out, we get that cup in, club face is open, disaster is going to happen. So probably what I recommend maybe to start with when you, if you're going to use something like this, very simple, very lightweight, you can have it in your golf bag, take it to the range, use this when you're practicing, is maybe just start off with a pitching wedge and just hit some little pitches out and just initially get a real sensation and probably do a lot of practice swings first of, of how this contacts you, how does that feel through your wrists, especially when you get to the top of the swing, that might feel quite different in that position when you get to the top. Then as you come down, we can then turn and rotate and then hopefully we can do less of that sort of flicky arm, sort of hand position. Okay, so I'm gonna work it to there, slightly on that inside of my lead forearm, up to the top, keep that contact, and then strike through. That's a lovely strike, very nice and straight golf shot. Okay, so there we go, there's the hanger training. I think that's a really good training. I'll use that with a few of my pupils, and it really gets a good understanding of that club face position. But not only that, it helps to get your swing a little bit more on plane, it also helps to control your left wrist, but also try and get that shallowing of that, that downswing position there. Obviously go that way, it removes, so it helps to get that shallowing that downswing, which is then helping a little bit with that swing direction as well. Okay, let me know your thoughts. Hang it, have you got one of these? Love to hear your thoughts, how you're getting on with it. Always face control something that you tend to struggle with. You know, where's that ball initially start in relation to that target? I think as golfers, we always look at where the ball finishes. But I would always say to my pupils, where does it actually start in relation to that target? You know, does it start very left? Does it start very right? That then typically shows, and obviously we measure, measure that on Trackman, but we can see exactly where that club face and tends to be a little bit more wackier or wilder numbers with club face than it would maybe more with a path. Interesting one really, but this, this device will help massively. Very simple, very lightweight and doesn't cost a lot of money. I'll put some details in the middle of the description down below. So if you're interested in stuff like this, go and check those guys out online um, and hopefully that helps you with your face control and your golf shots, helps you playing better golf. Okay, appreciate watching the video as always. If you enjoyed it, do share it around. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. If you have, very much appreciate your support and uh, enjoy your comments as always. Hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.